Quantum Leap your first step into quantum computing. Welcome to our guide to quantum computing. We'll demystify the complex mathematics and abstract principles that make quantum computing so powerful. We'll break it all down, from those spooky qubits to those mind-bending quantum algorithms. So buckle up and by the end of this video, you'll be able to impress your friends with your newfound knowledge of the quantum realm. Okay, let's start with the basics. Quantum computing is a fascinating and complex field that is set to revolutionize the way we process information. What exactly is quantum computing, you might ask? It's a type of computing that leverages the strange and wonderful principles of quantum mechanics. Our everyday computers use bits, like light switches, on or off, one or zero. These bits are the fundamental units of information in classical computing. Quantum computers, on the other hand, operate on the principles of quantum mechanics, using qubits. Qubits are the quantum equivalent of classical bits. A qubit can be 0, 1, or in a state called superposition where it's both 0 and 1 at the same time. This is a fundamental difference from classical bits. Think of it like a spinning coin. Until it lands, it's both heads and tails simultaneously. This superposition allows quantum computers to process a vast amount of information simultaneously. This ability to be in multiple states at once allows quantum computers to tackle problems that would take classical computers longer than the age of the universe to solve. They can perform complex calculations at unprecedented speeds. We're talking about breaking complex codes, which is crucial for cybersecurity, simulating molecules to design life-saving drugs, and revolutionizing artificial intelligence. The potential applications are vast and transformative. This is not just about making computers faster, it's about enabling new types of computations that were previously thought impossible. This is about changing the game entirely. Quantum computing represents a paradigm shift in technology, opening up new frontiers in science and industry. Let's dive deeper into the heart of quantum computing, the qubit. The qubit is the fundamental building block of quantum computers, much like the bit is for classical computers. But unlike a bit, which can only be in one of two states, a qubit can exist in multiple states at once. In the quantum world, things don't play by the same rules as our macroscopic world. Quantum mechanics governs the behavior of particles at the smallest scales, where the usual laws of physics seem to bend and twist in fascinating ways. In a regular computer, a bit is either on or off, one or zero. This binary system is the foundation of all classical computing, enabling everything from simple calculations to complex algorithms. But a qubit is like a dimmer switch. It can be zero, one, or somewhere in between, existing in a blend of both states. This unique property allows qubits to perform multiple calculations simultaneously. That blend is what we call superposition. Superposition is a fundamental principle of quantum mechanics, allowing particles to be in multiple states at once until they are observed or measured. Imagine a spinning coin. Until it settles, it's not really heads or tails, but a combination of both possibilities. This is a simple analogy to understand superposition in the quantum realm. When a qubit is in superposition, it's both zero and one simultaneously. This duality is what gives quantum computers their incredible power, enabling them to solve problems that are currently unsolvable by classical computers. It's only when we measure the qubit that it collapses into a definite state. This process is known as quantum measurement, and it plays a crucial role in how quantum computers operate. By harnessing superposition, we can perform calculations in ways that were unimaginable with classical computers. Quantum computers can process vast amounts of data simultaneously, making them incredibly powerful for certain types of computations. We can explore multiple possibilities at once, making our computations exponentially faster for certain types of problems. This capability opens up new frontiers in fields like cryptography, material science, and complex system simulations. So, next time you flip a coin, remember the qubit. It's not just a simple binary choice, but a gateway to a world of infinite possibilities where the boundaries of computation are constantly being redefined. Hold on to your hats, folks, because we're about to delve into one of the most mind-bending concepts in quantum mechanics, entanglement. This phenomenon is so strange and counterintuitive that even the great Albert Einstein himself was baffled by it. He famously referred to it as spooky action at a distance, and for good reason. Imagine two coins. Now, picture that if one coin magically flipped to heads, the other would instantaneously flip to tails, no matter how far apart they were. This is a simplified analogy of what happens in quantum entanglement. 
In reality, if two particles become entangled, their properties become linked in such a way that the state of one particle will instantly affect the state of the other, even if they are light years apart. This instantaneous connection defies our classical understanding of space and time. When two qubits, the basic units of quantum information become entangled, their fates become intertwined. This means that the measurement of one qubit's state will immediately determine the state of the other qubit regardless of the distance separating them. This phenomenon is not just a theoretical curiosity. Measuring the state of one qubit instantly determines the state of the other, which has profound implications for the future of technology. This spooky action allows us to create powerful correlations between qubits, enabling new forms of communication and computation that were previously thought impossible. It's like having a quantum communication network where information can be teleported instantaneously from one location to another, bypassing the limitations of classical communication methods. By harnessing the power of quantum entanglement, we're opening up a whole new world of possibilities in quantum computing, communication, and beyond. The future is indeed exciting and full of potential. Quantum gates and circuits, building the quantum computer. We've got our qubits, but how do we use them to compute? Quantum computers need logic gates to manipulate information. Think of classical logic gates like AND, Oregon, and NOT as the building blocks of digital circuits. Quantum gates are the quantum versions of these logic gates operating on qubits. They can rotate qubits, put them in superpositions, entangle them, and create interference patterns. These gates form quantum circuits, which are like blueprints for quantum algorithms. Designing and building these quantum circuits is challenging due to the sensitivity of qubits. But despite the challenges, the potential rewards are enormous. Quantum algorithms, unleashing the power of quantum computation. We've got our qubits, gates, and circuits. Now it's time for quantum algorithms. These algorithms exploit the rules of quantum mechanics to solve problems in ways we never thought possible. Shor's algorithm, for example, can factor large numbers exponentially faster than classical algorithms, revolutionizing cryptography. Grover's algorithm uses quantum superposition to search through possibilities much faster than classical computers. These are just two examples of the incredible power of quantum algorithms. We're discovering more algorithms that can revolutionize fields like medicine, material science, and artificial intelligence. The potential of quantum algorithms is vast and transformative. The challenges of quantum computing a delicate dance with reality. Quantum computing is still a young field and faces serious challenges. One of the biggest hurdles is decoherence. Qubits are incredibly sensitive to disturbances causing errors in computations. We need extremely isolated environments for our qubits to overcome this. There's also the issue of scalability. We need to scale up to thousands, even millions of qubits to tackle big problems. Quantum mechanics is mind-bending, even for seasoned physicists. Designing, building, and programming quantum computers require a new way of thinking and a lot of patience. Despite the challenges, the potential rewards make it worth the effort. Real-world applications of quantum computing. A quantum revolution on the horizon. The potential applications of quantum computing are vast and transformative. Imagine designing new materials from the ground up, atom by atom or developing personalized drugs tailored to your genetic makeup. Quantum computers could revolutionize drug discovery and artificial intelligence. These are just a few glimpses into the future that quantum computing promises. It's a future where we can solve problems that were once thought impossible. Conclusion Why Quantum Computing Matters The future is quantum. We've journeyed into the world of quantum computing, exploring qubits, superposition, and entanglement. We've seen how quantum gates and circuits build powerful machines, and how quantum algorithms solve tough challenges. Quantum computing represents the power of human curiosity, and our drive to explore the unknown. It's a field ripe for exploration, full of challenges and opportunities. Quantum computing's potential is undeniable, captivating the imaginations of scientists, engineers, and dreamers. The quantum future awaits. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more content on cutting edge technology and science. We've only just scratched the surface of quantum computing, but I hope this video has sparked your curiosity and inspired you to learn more about this incredible field. 
Have any questions about quantum computing? Drop them in the comments below, and we'll get back to you. Until next time, keep learning.